Oh. Hi, folks. You know, just a quick one on this uh, never ending discussion concerning tides, you know, and, um, and I'm just I'm approaching it from a historical point of view this time around. Now, of course, in the Old Testament, uh, tithes was a requirement. It was actually the equivalent of the tax, and I'll do that in the, in the next one. Now, the early church did not pay tithes, okay? Uh, and things went along that well until, uh, until 567 AD uh, in the Church Council of Tours, spelled T-O-U-R-S, Tours, in France. That was 567. That's the sixth century, okay? And then uh, that was confirmed in 585 AD at the Third Council of Meccan. And I'm reading here, uh, which uh, that particular council prescribed excommunication for those who are non compliant for, uh, with tight payment because the church, the Roman church, the Western church at the time, needed to pay uh, the clergy and they needed support. So, uh, and uh, in that, in the particular documents uh, of that conference, and I'm reading here, it says, the, that, that conference recognized that in truth that tithes had not been paid in ancient times, that is in, in the preceding six centuries, had not been paid in the ancient times, but it also says that in its time they were no longer being paid. So the early church didn't pay it, and in the sixth century the Christian church was not paying, but they were now bringing it back, and they were putting excommunication in place to punish those who were not paying. And in the 8th century, Shelley Magne, that's Charles the Great, made tithing to the church a civil law, meaning you could go to jail for not paying. Thank you.